I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Sam Harrison, the head of ecosystem growth at Harmony. Sam, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to come on. Thanks for having me on, Ashton. This is uh, exciting. I really enjoy this. And I want to welcome you to an authentic Silicon Valley garage, which we in Harmony affectionately refer to as the Harmony Garage. So welcome. I would love for you to kick us off by explaining a little bit about Harmony and the protocol for those who aren't familiar, and then we can dive into the details. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, as any of your viewers know who understand cryptocurrency and blockchain, um, we are level one blockchain. We're totally EVM compatible, which means that anything that you build and deploy on Ethereum or any of those other EVM networks, you can also deploy on us very quickly. The question then becomes, why would you want to do that? The answer is, well, we have super fast finality. Transactions are finished within two seconds. We have thousands of transactions per second. But the interesting thing about that is that we are the first production grade sharded proof of stake network, which means that we can scale horizontally to as many transactions as we need to scale to. But really what Harmony makes us different is our community, a very robust and self-perpetuating ecosystem that embraces the future of multi-chain. But at the end of the day, it's not just about building bridges to other chains. It's also about building bridges to people. Speaking of community, it seems like the latest organization of communities has to do with these DAOs, the Decentralized mm -hmm. Autonomous Organizations. And I'd love to hear how the community is sort of shaping into that and what's the vision with Harmony in DAOs. The vision of Harmony in DAOs is we are going to fund and back over a thousand DAOs over the next year or two. You know, um, the difference between code and people is that when you design a piece of code, it'll operate exactly how you have it planned, more or less. You can't really do that with people. They're a little bit squishier. Um, and that's one of the things that we really, really try hard to do is make sure that anybody in a DAO and anybody in the organization has as much information as anybody else. Yes, DAOs are the future. We really, really believe that. It's also very early days and where we are, are building and learning and tripping up occasionally. Uh, but we're pushing forward. So there's a minimally viable DAO that people use that's basically a, a multi-sig wallet, like a, a Gnosis safe multi-sig wallet and a snapshot in instance. So what that gives you is your shared account, your shared assets, and it gives you an ability to have shared responsibility or accountability to vote. And that's the basic layer. A variety of tools that have grown up like Aragon, like DAO House, like the Moloch DAO, that give you a framework to do more. And the more and more we can have those frameworks and those tools available, the better we'll end up being. When you're talking about a trillion dollar organization, normally what happens is you have one CEO at the top that creates the vision and it can be amazing. And that vision can go really, really far, but it's one person. And so you're limited by that perspective. In a DAO, you're capturing the interest of everybody in that DAO. You're capturing the innovation. You're capturing the power and the passion. And that's why I think it's going to really revolutionize where we're going. There's the one to earn platform I was looking into. I'd love for you to talk about the tools available for builders and creators to truly express themselves. The one to earn program is, is very interesting because what we're trying to do is we're trying to decentralize. Basically, the idea is, is when you are passionate about something, you're going to want to work. And this is one of the ways that which we are trying to realize the promise of cryptocurrency, the very beginning of the effort was to unshackle us from the traditional finance burdens. It's trying to create this, this mechanism and this flywheel to break those shackles. And so that's what this is working to solve, right? I have this skill set, I have this, this concept, this idea, and I'm trying to figure out a way for the community and large groups of people to recognize that value as well. There are a lot of developers that could potentially be working with Harmony that, as you said, they heard about it, but they just don't know that there's all these tools and mm -hmm. it's ready to go. And is there some incentivizations uh, oh, yeah. for developers to build on Harmony as well? So we're running right now a $300 million ecosystem grants program. And you can get a lot of the details at harmony.one slash 300. And I'll break down kind of all the different categories and what we're looking for in those categories. You know, they could be projects that are coming from other chains. Um, also launch grants and bounties and events and DAOs. There's just a long list of, of what we're funding.